Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best workstation GPU. Starting at number 5. NVIDIA GeForce RTX. The NVIDIA RTX 3090 is still one of the best graphics cards out there, even though it is a last-gen GPU. With a whopping 24 gigabytes of RAM, no game or, more importantly, heavy graphics project will suffer performance issues. In fact, we were even able to get some 8K performance at 60 frames per second out of the 3090. That said, it is an incredibly expensive unit, and quite large too, so it will probably be too much GPU for most users. Coming at number 4. AMD Radeon RX 7900. The AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX had a lot to prove when it hit the scene at the end of 2022, but it succeeds brilliantly in being the most powerful gaming GPU on the market for under $1,000 while outperforming NVIDIA's RTX 4080 overall, which costs 20% more. The new second-gen Ray accelerators in the RX 7900 XTX makes 4K gaming on ultra settings with ray tracing a reality on an AMD card, something that the last flagship AMD card, the RX 6950 XT, couldn't quite accomplish. It's not without faults, including falling behind the NVIDIA RTX 4000 series in terms of ray tracing, while still beating out the RT performance of the NVIDIA RTX 3090, and some uneven creative workload performance, but overall, this is the one graphics card we would recommend to just about anybody who are looking to finally upgrade their GPU after years of graphics card shortages. At Number 3 NVIDIA GeForce RTX Yes, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is expensive. It also requires a 16-pin connector or adapter. And it's very, very big. But, the first release from NVIDIA's new 4000 series is an absolute powerhouse that can tackle anything you need it to. It is the most powerful GPU out there. In our testing, we found it to perform significantly better than the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 with 2 to 4 times the performance in synthetic benchmarks and up to 100% improved frame rates with some games. What's more, the included DLSS 3 might be the next revolution in gaming once it's fully utilized. Number 2 of my list AMD Radeon RX 7600 the AMD Radeon RX 7600 is here to bring AMD RDNA 3 to the under dash dollar 300 slash pound 300 segment, and it's got plenty of performance despite its lower price tag. Its 1080p performance is absolutely fantastic for the price, even giving the Nvidia RTX 3060T 12 gigabytes a run for its money. Its 1440p performance is also pretty decent considering that the card only has 8GB VRAM and a 128-bit memory bus. In terms of gaming performance, you can easily get 60 frames per second on all of the best PC games at 1080p, with most of those running on the highest graphics settings. For more demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077, there might need to be some settings tweaks, but it's still definitely doable especially with AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. And number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX. The NVIDIA RTX 4070 follows up one of the best graphics cards of all time, the RTX 3070, and improves on its predecessor in just about every conceivable way. From gaming performance to synthetic benchmarks, I extensively push these two cards to their limits, and found that at times the RTX 4070 was running 40% ahead of its predecessor in several games, though ultimately the RTX 4070's magic balanced out to an average performance gain of about 21%. And, despite the 20% increase in price over the previous generation's RTX 3070 MSRP, the RTX 4070 performs so well that you can only shrug. With gaming performance at every result you incapable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the NVIDIA RTX 3080 and RTX 3080 Ti, the latter card featuring an MSRP double that of the RTX 4070s, there's just no question that this is the best graphics card for most people on the market right now. 
Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.